Hi, my name is Marilyn Thompson, and I'm the marketing director here at the History Museum. Welcome to Museum Live, where we talk with community VIPs. And today, we are talking with a very community VIP, <laughs> Grant Mudge from Shakespeare at Notre Dame. Welcome, Grant. Thank you so much. I'm so glad you're here with us today. It's so nice to be back. Yeah, isn't it, though? In so many ways. Yes, I know just what you mean. <laughs> Grant, we are sitting now in the um, Notre Dame Gallery, Raglan Gallery of Notre Dame History, where we have had on view for the past months uh, a beautiful exhibit called Full Circle, Shakespearean Culture at Notre Dame, which you were very much a part of creating and putting together. So I wonder if you want to talk to us a little bit about our backdrop today. <laughs> sure. Uh, we're, we're surrounded by the Tempest, um, which is uh, which is fun to revisit and to come back uh, and to see it still it really holds up. Yep. Um, it's it's fun for me to kind of look over my shoulder and see uh, the costumes um, for Ariel's quality, mm -hmm. which were which were sort of the versions of Ariel that moved around on stage while the actor, the remarkable Sarah Scanlon, was up on the static trapeze at fifteen feet in the <laughs> air. <laughs> Sarah is back this summer uh, here in uh, you know, 2021, and she is um, she's playing Puck, the mischievous Puck, uh, with the, with the fairies. I said you can you you can eventually have a role that doesn't require supernatural you know, mag magical powers, and she said, "Why?" So no, I'm kidding. But um, it's a treat to have her back and to be back here, and of course to be bringing live theater back. Sure, uh, as well. You know, um, when we first had the idea of doing Shakespeare in this gallery, it was so exciting because I've, I've worked with you for so many years, um, hearing about all the things that we're doing at, that you're doing at Notre Dame. So that was great. Um, and I'll tell you that this exhibit has been very popular. We watch visitors walk in and they just, um, it, they, you can see that they're incredulous at the costuming and the um, props that are used and the backstories and, and all of that. I'm wondering, what is one of your favorite parts of this exhibit? <laughs> well, the little kid in me likes the big display of swords. <laughs> Um, as a certain little kid I know also likes to come up and, you know, look at, look at that. Um, I, I, I love seeing the costumes on display again because, of course, we were reminded of the performances. And um, I think even those folks who, who haven't seen these shows necessarily can kind of come in and get a feel for what the mm -hmm. performances are like. But not merely that, the process of their creation is something that I think folks perhaps outside the theater may not think about quite as much when they're watching the story unfold in front of them. And here you get an amazing feel for the designer's craft. There's renderings of costumes and, and um, some of the set work uh, that goes on. And then you see them in their real, realized forms uh, here behind us. Um, but I do, have, I do have a favorite, if I can take a moment. To Absolutely. Talk. It's actually a photograph. Okay. And it dates, uh, it's on the other side, and it dates from about 1876. And it's some of the earliest, it, as far as we've known, and we've, we've asked around much of the English speaking world. And it is the earliest photograph we have found of a full cast of Shakespeare okay. anywhere uh, in, in the world that I've been able to find. And they didn't quite know, well, what show could it have been? Because there are all these young men in costumes and, and several of the fathers, of course, um, in the front of the photograph holding very still. <laughs> and uh, then you realize one of the young men is padded and has the weight of the world on his face. And he's the only one looking in one direction. Everybody else is looking the other way. There's another young man with his hand on his sword. He's the only one with his hand on his sword. Okay. So King Henry, that's Henry IV, Hotspur. And there's another um, very sort of festive looking young man who's got all sorts of enjoyment in his face right next to his dad, also in kind of, you know, royal looking stuff, Prince Hal. Uh -huh. um, so it, we're pretty sure it's Henry IV. That matches up with the archive mm -hmm. and some of the scripts that we have. So that photo is a real favorite for me. Ah, I can see why. Wow. I, and I will say that the photographs and, and again, the backstory, um, what does it take to put together the costumes for um, a Shakespeare production at Notre Dame? What does it take to, to do the, the casting and, and all of that? So this has been a very fun exhibit, and we have been delighted that you were kind enough to come in and for your team to come and help us to be able to put this on view. It's, it's been great. 
But you mentioned <laughs> earlier when we were talking puck. Yeah. And so I know that you would like to talk a little bit about something that's coming <laughs> up on campus. Yeah, absolutely. Um, this summer, we're able to resume, thankfully, and we elected to be outdoors for everybody's comfort level. Um, and we're uh, producing a Midsummer Night's Dream, which, of course, is tremendous fun. Yeah. Uh, it'll run through the end of August, August 29th. Okay. Nightly except Mondays at 7.30. So there's areas for blanket seating. Bring your own lawn chairs, your own blankets. Um, but the production is a real delight. The, the cast uh, and the crew bonded together in, mm. in a way that um, many casts, of course, will and do. But this group, and I think part of it's being able to return to our profession, you know, after 18 months or so. And, yeah. um, but I think that there's more to it than that i think it's also the the, the personalities that are assembled uh, so some actors that folks will remember from notre dame shakespeare festival performances coming back of course sarah scanlon uh but cameron knight uh mm -hmm. returns he's playing the king of the fairies oberon <laughs> himself as well as theseus he uh cameron directed othello in okay. 2018 mm -hmm. and played benedict and much mm -hmm. ado about nothing uh new to us this year chicago actor uh, suzanne jamshidi is titania um, Jason Goff as Bottom, uh, and then Notre Dame students, um, students from across town and around the country, as is our, as is our custom, um, and they work side by side on stage uh, with the, with the pros. So. Okay, when when you're deciding what play you're going to perform, what is your favorite moment in in that whole process? And I, I mean, I know opening night has to be so special, um, but is there another moment in time when you just, it all comes together? <laughs> I, I think most of the folks around the festival will tell you they, they, are, they, they already know Grant's two favorite nights. Of course, opening night is, <laughs> is, a, is a biggie, but it's the first moment of rehearsal. Oh. As exciting as it is to see the shops open, we we build most of the costuming from scratch, uh, from 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 fabric and, and from the original designs. The shops, of course, build all of the scenic elements on site there at Notre Dame. That we are that's our home. Um, but the moment that um, each year we gather everybody in the same space, mm -hmm. and everybody introduces themselves and describes their work, and then the actors are gathered around that table, and there's that first read mm -hmm. of the play, yeah. you know, and it and it's that first gathering of the full mm -hmm. uh, Shakespeare Festival family mm -hmm. Um, mm -hmm. that that I just can't help but love. Oh, that is so exciting because it makes me know how much I love to come and watch <laughs> your plays, um, all plays, but your plays too, and and how grateful I think we all are in our community to have such a very special um, venue here to be able to enjoy Shakespeare plays and such talented actors and the talent behind the stage, you included and all of you. Um, so it's 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 an incredible moment. It's been an incredible history and I speak from, I think for all of us here at, in our uh, community to say thank you so much for, for bringing this to us. Um, I know that this draws from far and wide. Um, we've been grateful to have the exhibit here and to have just a little piece of all the excitement that you've just <laughs> described. So, um, uh, again, thank you. And yes, I love the colors. I love being able to sit here and, and enjoy all this. Um, Wow, <laughs> you really are a community VIP, yeah. and I am. I am far more than you. far more than just me. This was a huge team. Not only the the Shakespeare uh, staff and, and and folks, but the museum curators and staff yes. here were phenomenal. We brought a Thank whole you. bunch of resources, and y'all made it uh, absolutely gorgeous. Yes, uh, we. So I'll tell you, we do have an <laughs> exceptional curatorial staff yeah. who can take raw materials and then somehow make it sing or be on stage or yeah. whatever. So. I'll give two shout outs. Sure. Uh, Jason Comerford on our staff yes. wrote much of the of the text. Um, I helped, but it was mostly <laughs> Jason Comerford. Lynn Holbrook, our, our costume shop uh, manager, mm -hmm. is also the designer this year. She's designed the oh. costumes for Midsummer Night's Dream, oh, um, which is which includes all sorts of surprises oh, uh, okay. outdoors. Um, Very nice. Very good. Well, thank you, Grant, You're for welcome. being a guest today. I've enjoyed this. Thank you so much for watching and being a part of our effort. Um, stay tuned for our next Museum Live when we'll meet and talk with another community VIP here at the History Museum.